Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Eternity Speaks. I know you're expecting to see Reverend Bill here. He is attending the graduation of his daughter, so I'm filling in for him. He will definitely be back next week. And next week, we're going to have the message from St. Saint, from Saint Peter. He's going to come back. He has requested that he speak again, so he will be doing it. I hope all of you have had a wonderful week. I hope that you honored our fallen victims on Memorial Day. And I hope that you've tried to pass on the words of our Lord. We bring you these shows each week. Uh, I'm going to post this one on my YouTube channel. Bill will be, post will be posting them <clears throat> on his Facebook pages and his web pages. So there's a lot of ways that you can see these messages. Today, we're going to be bringing you a message from John the Baptist. As you know, John's the one that started the whole thing with our Lord, and he's waiting. So without any further delay, we're going to hear the words of John the Baptist. Good morning, everybody. I would like to thank you for listening. I wanted to return to you because it is a very, very difficult time. There's so much evil in your world. It's growing. There are many people that refuse to accept that our Lord really exists. I can assure you that he did. I knew him. I knew his family. And I baptized him. I knew that my mission was to create a beginning. My baptism was the beginning of the greatest ministry that the world has ever seen. I was sent back to assist our Lord and get him started. Once he began his ministries, it was incomprehensible what he could do. Now I knew him as he raised his family. He was an incredible person. He was always laughing. He was always happy. Never, ever showed anger. He would become frustrated. That's only human nature. But he lived the life following the words that he was to speak. Now imagine being in his position. He knew exactly what was going to happen to him. We spoke of it. He told me that there would be a time that the Romans would kill him. There would be a time that he would leave, and there would be a time that he would count on us to spread his words. He spoke of it. He didn't fear it. He knew what was coming for him. Now, humans will not know what's coming for them. That is intentional. They're sent back with life plans, and they're supposed to follow those plans. Now, they don't know what the plan is, and that's what makes it so interesting. God has given them free will to make choices. Now, all humans have guides that influence them. There's angels that will try to influence. Sometimes we even intervene and try to influence individuals. But we never, ever make decisions for them. Each human must make his own decision. They have to decide whether they're going to follow common sense and simple teachings or whether they're going to go off on their own, create violence, let evil overcome them. That is always the choice of humans. Now, sadly, many humans are choosing dark energies over the light at this time. You see it everywhere. 
You see it in your government. You see countries fighting others for no reason. That is evil. When you see people stealing, and there are many in government that steal. They're taking your money. You pay, you work hard, you pay your taxes. And then many of the people in government squander it. They try to buy power. They use their information to gain great wealth. They are as overcome by evil as those that declare war on others. It's the same energy. Evil is everywhere. It will try to guide you away from the words that our Lord spoke. He spoke very simply, and I know you hear these words every week. He spoke of doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's very simple. Now, I was there at the beginning of our Lord's ministries. He chose a new beginning that he knew was going to lead to his, to his, to his death. All of you out there can make a choice for a new beginning. You can choose a life of helping others, a life of doing good, a life of not showing anger and hatred. It's very simple for you to have that new beginning. Each day can be the first day of the rest of your life. That's the way it works. Now, you'll never ever know what the time of your passing will be, but there will be a time. When God created humans, he wanted to have a limited time in which they could make their decisions. The decisions they make in that limited time is how they will be judged when they return to heaven at their time of passing. God knew exactly what he was doing when he created earth. He spread beauty. He spread miracles. He did everything that a human could need to live a good life. But he also allowed evil energies to act as a challenge to humans might seem strange to you that he would do something like that. But keep in mind, the entire human journey is a test. It is a test to see whether your individual soul will choose between evil and doing good. Now, when, when our Lord spoke... He spoke very simply. He drew his disciples. When people would hear him speak, they would say, this is a very, very special human. They never knew that he was actually God incarnate. He told people that he was the son of God. That was something they could understand. He never wanted to be association, associated with being a God. The Romans had many, many gods that they worshipped. He didn't want any part of that. His role was to lead people away from worshipping many gods to understanding the simplicity of the single god that was in charge. You need to make the proper decisions in your life. It's not that hard. 
Just think of what I said earlier, the golden rule. If you were to follow that simple command, you would have no need to pray for forgiveness. People would love you. If you don't show anger towards them, they're not going to show anger. Now there are those evil people out there that are going to follow the darkness no matter what you do. They're going to steal. They're going to maybe kill. The darkness has enveloped them. Now, what you cannot do is let what other people decide control your life. Simply do what you know is right. It's not that hard. Just use your common sense. If you do that, you can create a new beginning. It is never, ever too late in your life plan to create a new beginning. Start small. Call a lonely person that you know and just talk to them. Let them know somebody cares about them. Maybe do volunteer work. It would be really good good for you if you did volunteer work at a place that helps treat the homeless. Homelessness is a terrible thing in, in all the countries. It has been allowed to expand in the United States beyond comprehension. The United States is the wealthiest country in the world. You have people here with billions of dollars. I know most of you out there are are currently struggling. You've just had a pandemic where you were locked up in your homes. Many of you couldn't work. Many of the children's education was interrupted. It was a terrible time. Many people have not recovered from that. The emotional stress. There are still many people out there that are considering suicide. Get involved with a group that does suicide prevention. You will not believe how good you would feel if you just saved one person from taking the end of their lives. There are many, many things that you can do for a new beginning. Tell others about the teachings of our Lord. We try to tell you Barry tries to tell you. He works very hard at trying to bring you the messages of truth and love that is spoken by our Lord. The easiest way for a new beginning is to simply help spread his words. Many of you have access to social media, but many of you are afraid to mention the fact that you believe in God. You think you'll be ridiculed. Yes, you will. You are correct. But the pride in your heart that you will feel when you admit that you are following the commands of God will far exceed the feelings that you will have when you are criticized. Spread the good words. Spread the words of light and love. There are people out there that consider themselves light workers. They are trying to spread the light of God throughout the world. It is a time 
where your technologies can help spread the good and it can help spread the bad. There are people doing terrible things on your social media. They're misleading the young. They're telling lies. And the sad fact is, if people lie to you long enough, you begin to accept it as truth. That's human nature. But you must know that there is a huge difference between good and bad. If the people with great wealth would truly try to help those that need it, there would be very, very little poverty in your country. Now, those people with the great wealth, if they don't use some of it or most of it to help others, they will enter heaven with nothing. And they will receive nothing in their judgment. They will not only not advance, but they will be sent to a lower level. And then they will have to repeat lifetimes. I hope that they truly enjoy their wealth in this short period of human life. Because they will have thousands of years on the other side where they will consider what they did. The karma of not helping others is real. The karma of doing evil actions is real. Do not for one moment think that your actions as a human will not be judged when you return. Now, many of you are absolutely wonderful people. You have the love of God in your heart. You help others. You follow the life that is prescribed by God. You will be judged well when you return. You will be greeted by your family members. You will see the angels. You'll see your guides, and they will tell you, you did a great job. But those of you that do not follow his commands, oh, you'll enter into heaven and you'll meet the guides. You may meet your family members. If you've been truly evil, you will be rapidly judged and you will be taken to a lower level. Now, there is no area of fire and brimstone, as you've been told by the, by the various religions, but there is definitely a very low level of nothingness. That is reserved for the truly evil. There are souls that have been in that level for thousands and thousands of years. They have still not learned a lesson, and they're not willing to take the first step in a new beginning where they can try to regain the trust of God. I hope that all of you take time to consider my words. Now, I'm not trying to bring fear. Jesus never spoke of fear. Jesus didn't even fear his death. He knew it was coming. What all of you should fear is following evil. You will be so much happier allowing the love of God to enter your heart, helping others, and taking pride in what you're doing. Evil is everywhere. Temptation is everywhere. Now, all of you, all of you have done bad in the past. We know that. There's much that you can be forgiven for. 
if you have a new beginning and you use that new beginning to follow the teachings of God. Forgiveness is as real as heaven is real. Do not think that your past life precludes forgiveness. Know that our God wants to forgive. All you have to do is follow his teachings. Pray to him, ask for forgiveness, and ask for guidance into the future. It's all good. Thank you for allowing me to speak to you today. I hope that you've listened to me. I hope I haven't bored you, and I hope that you will consider a new beginning. A new beginning will lead you on the pathway to light in heaven. Evil will lead you on a path of darkness. It's that simple. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. With that, with that commandment, I'm going to leave you. Thank you for listening. Please tell others about these messages. It is part of your new beginning. God is blessing all of you that are listening. Thank you and goodbye. Okay. Uh, We had a message from John the Baptist. It was uh, very good. I knew it was going to be. You can also listen to us on Wednesday mornings when we bring you a weekly message from Jesus. You can join us on our YouTube channel. We've got over 260 videos, many messages. If you have doubts about what the commandments of our Lord are, it's very easy to go and check them out. So I want to thank you for tuning in to Eternity Speaks. We come to you every Sunday morning. Reverend Bill is usually doing most of the talking. He is a wonderful person. He wants nothing more than to try to help you and to try to lead you. Next week, we'll have the message from St. Peter. We've spoken with him many times, and I assure you it will be a very good one. So join us on Eternity Speaks next week. Reverend Bill Eggleston will be here. He will have his messages. And I will bring you the words of St. Peter. Goodbye. God bless all of you. And thank you for listening.